I'm Heiko Witter, I'm Head of Engineering Improvement Quality, uh, working for Rolls-Royce in Germany, just south of Berlin. And at the moment I'm coordinating the digital landscape around engineering manufacturing in, uh, in Germany, in our German uh, affiliation. So in Germany we're primarily active in the civil aerospace sector. In other sites of where Rolls-Royce is active, we are working in other sectors like marine and nuclear as well. But the civil aerospace uh, sector in developing, producing, manufacturing aerospace engines for the small, medium and large civil market is uh, what we do. Now there is so much more because there is such a massive amount of data coming back from our engines which tell us a lot about their life cycle and the challenge in the future is how do we connect those data with data we get from the manufacturing, from the design process and make use out of it and get actually answers to questions we don't actually know what to ask today. It is, uh, we are actually focusing on the analytics, not only in the service sector, but increasingly also in the manufacturing and assembly sector to increase the capacity or increase primarily the predictability in terms of uh, delivery. Exactly, that's what we're trying to do, is connecting the information from the manufacturing and assembly cycle with the information from design and the service area. So that's uh, the primary purpose of the activities, getting the data out of the operations, connecting and analyzing them in a proper way. So the product there is uh, ship engines, basically uh, propulsion systems for large ships, nuclear ships, but also uh, for large vessels, uh, oil vessels, etc. So my presentation uh, is uh, how the Internet of Things is uh, affect or implementing business purpose across the value chain. So the key aspect of this one is that whatever we do in that field needs to be looked at across the value chain, not uh, isolated into services only or manufacturing or design, but basically the combination and the integration of the information and data across the whole value stream is the importance what I wanted to get across. So that is something you always have to look at when you think about digitization in Industry 4.0. I think we probably didn't talk about it that much because it was potentially, that's the hypothesis, more implicit in what the people were thinking. But the more and more complicated and technologically, technically challenging the environment becomes, the more siloed some of the operations become. And that's why approaches like value stream thinking, system engineering are becoming more and more important just to remind people and the companies what the key focus of their activities need to be. Absolutely, so in my presentation I use an example and say when I've been looking after the development of a new engine, I've been sending my engineers to the repair and overall to see how the parts look like when they've been in service for a couple of thousand hours. So that is 2D or 2.0, now we're looking at 4.0 where we actually get the data back and actually can connect them and do proper analytics around it and get even more information than the visual eye can see. Yeah, using both, so we have a digital product twin and a digital factory twin in-house where we use those technologies. Okay. And uh, I wouldn't call it breaking, I think it's enhancing the digital twin with more and more characteristics and uh, parameters. So the key thing is that you actually get more parameters from a functional point of view as well as from a geometrical point of view into the model.